Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer Compline on this Friday the 25th of February 2022 and we very much keep in our thoughts and prayers this night the people of Ukraine, the people that we know that might be in Ukraine tonight as we pray for their safety and for peace in the region. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We say together our night prayer. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our appointed psalm for this evening is 139, verses 1 to 18. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O God, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and night to you are both alike. For you yourself created my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you, when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes behold my form is yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet... There was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! I count them, there are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world we may, beyond this life, still be with you, where you are alive and reign for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. That's from Thessalonians 5, verses 9 and 10. And now for our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. 
now for the Nunctimittis. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we continue to pray for the conflict that is being afflicted upon the people of Ukraine, we hold them tonight in our thoughts and prayers. As we've prayed already, we pray for peace, that peace may prevail. We pray for those who may fear this night, fearfully, afraid, perhaps in a bunker, wondering about food and water. And we pray for wisdom for all in authority, for decisions to be made, whole situation, Lord, we just lift to you and the perpetrators of these evil crimes may be stopped. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray this night for those who face this night with anxiety, trepidation or loneliness. For those who are struggling with their mental health or physical health. We pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones. For those we know who've attended a funeral today. For those who are preparing for funerals. And for those for whom the anniversary of the death of a loved one falls at this time. A moment of quiet, O Lord, we name on our hearts those who've asked us for prayer today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray, O Lord, for all those who be working this night, for our night economy, key workers, those working in our hospice, hospital and care homes, for our Marlow Theatre, for places of hospitality and welcome, we lift to you this night. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our collect, visit this place, O Lord, we pray. Drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Bide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. So night watch looks for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us for night prayer this evening. And wherever you are, please do join us for morning prayer again on Monday morning a night prayer in the evening. Good night and God bless and have 
a peaceful, safe weekend. Bye for now. Bye.